Are you good? Okay, um, my name's Caitlin, and today I'm going to be talking about the art and creation of the human balance. Um, so first, I think we, you kind of need to address, like, how do we balance? I think it's really easy to say, like, oh, this is really cool, like, I wish I could do that. But if you don't really understand how you go about learning how to do that, then it's a very, like, misunderstood concept, um, human balance. And it's an ability that we all have, but it just varies in how strong it is. Um, so I used to be a gymnast, and I would walk around everywhere on my hands, and I think I spent more time upside down than I did right side up, um, until I dislocated my wrist, and I had to quit gymnastics after that because I just couldn't put that much pressure on my hands anymore. Um, and so once I quit, I noticed that my balance deteriorated like pretty quickly, and I didn't really understand why, um, because I was so used to just being able to balance really well. Um, and then, so, for my 20 time, I decided to explore a little more into balance and relearn uh, a pretty essential skill in gymnastics. It's called a straddle press handstand. Um, and I have an example of it right here, if it'll play, which basically involves a lot of upper body strength and core strength to lift yourself up um, into a handstand. And if you can see how much control and how, like, slow it is, um, it requires a lot of mental and physical balance, um, which I thought was really interesting. And the first thing that I needed to do was figure out what balance actually was. And so vestibular.org defined balance as the ability to maintain the body's center of mass over its base of support. And there's three like main components that comes with balance. Um, there's a lot of different factors that can affect balance overall, but there's kind of just three main ones. Um, the first one is your visual output. So you have sensory information that's being sent from your eyes to your brain, and it allows you to perceive where you are standing, like relative to other objects. Um, the next one is your proprioceptive output, and it's basically your muscles and your skin, and it's the pressure you're feeling from that being sent to your brain so that you can understand your space orientation and where, you phys where you're physically standing and your physical surroundings. Um, and then the final one is your vestibular system, which we learned a lot about um, last semester. And it's basically your main balance system, and it's within your inner ear. And it's a bunch of little uh, tiny hair cells, which are um, sensitive to like uh, vibrations and auditory waves and helps you to detect like your equilibrium and your space orientation also. And all three of these kind of work together so that you can balance. Um, and then, so after learning this, I started to research a bunch of different exercises that you can do to improve like your balance and handstand strength in this situation. So I found a plan by Pamela Gainan called Strength and Conditioning for Handstand Improvement. So I modified some of her exercises and apply them in my own workouts. Um, and in this one, it's basically where you stand onto one of the, a bossy balance ball and keep your eyes closed for as long as possible before stepping off of it, which is a lot harder than it looks. Um, I was like really frustrated with myself for a while because I like couldn't do it. But the more that I did it, the easier it got. And then some of the other ones were like different hands. Oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me go back one. Um, were like different handstand variations. So like just free handstands and then doing it against a wall too so that you have the base support of being able to uh, just practice it. Um, let's see if this will... And then as I continued to do it and I took like progress videos every so often, it, I could notice the improvement. And so I would uh, take different videos. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna keep going. It was fun. And then um, I go to a physical therapist still for my wrist dislocation, which is like six years ago. Um, and I was talking to him about it, and he thought it was really cool, but then he kind of shut it down and was like, you probably shouldn't be doing this because of how much weight you're putting on your hands. Um, and he just told me that I was like at risk for further injuring myself, which I like don't want to do because it doesn't feel very nice to begin with. Um, and so I kind of switched my... Uh, Project switch gears in it and started to 
survey everyone. Thank you for everyone who like, stood on one foot. It looks really funny. Um, with like when I close with wearing your shoes and without shoes just to see how they compared. Um, and I found that dancers, I was pretty, I was expecting dancers to have the best balance, but I was also really surprised to find that like kids who did marching band also had really good balance. And let's see, and so I created an infographic just on balance and how you can improve it. Um, it's on my blog just in case you have free time and you'd like to learn about balance. But basically, um, this is a quote from Brad Manor, and he says that maintaining mental fitness, remaining physically active, and practicing Tai Chi, Qigong, yoga, or some other mind-body exercise can help you keep your balance and avoid stumbling. It's kind of like for older people, this quote, but like it applies still. Um, and so these are kind of the takeaway three main components. Um, physical exercise promotes bone and muscle strength. Mental um, strenuous exercises can help coordination and just maintaining like an overall healthy lifestyle is really important for um, just to have optimum balance. And so my kind of final quote that is a place of life but also this is that balance is not something you find, it's something you create. And um, I really like this project, especially because it applies. I'm majoring in kinesiology next year, and so I think it, it'll be really helpful going into that, knowing that I kind of have this, like, pre-existing information, um, which I can kind of teach to others and utilize for myself. So.